Hey guys, welcome. I'm April Schluter of The Cheerful Mind, and I am a life balance coach who helps people have more fun while getting stuff done. Happy Labor Day. I hope you are not working today, even though I probably will be working today, but it's all good. Um, this week I wanted to talk about backup systems because I had a whirlwind week with my trusty iPhone and I thought I'd share my learnings from this week. Um, I mentioned a little bit in my newsletter that I was going to talk about the demise of my phone. So I'm going to try to give it to you really, really quick. Um, back in March, when I had started planning out this interview series, the Your Life, Your Way series that just finished a couple weeks ago, um, I knew I needed to get a new computer because my old computer was four years old. It was falling apart. And back then, my phone wanted to back up, but of course I didn't have enough space in the cloud. So I tried to back up to my computer, and my computer told me that it had no space to back up my phone. So lo and behold, that was the time to get a new computer. So I did that. Um, but because I was so busy since March, I had not backed up my phone. I had not backed up my computer. So I was just kind of living life, feeling kind of stressed about it, but I figured, okay, when this series is over, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with all the migration of the data files. Anyway, so last week my phone start, started to act up. The software, there was a software glitch, and it was just slowing down, it wasn't starting. I was on the phone last week trying to revive the phone because I couldn't even use it, and was able to do that, but then, through Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, it just started slowing down again. And Tuesday night, I realized that I had lost some really important files, some notes that I had taken in the note app. Um, and it was funny because it was on my computer, but I deleted, I was trying to back up my phone, which it wouldn't allow me to, and I was trying to clear up the cloud, but I didn't realize that when I deleted what was in there, I deleted things that were on my computer. So that kind of sucked. Um, so I was on chat support with Apple on Tuesday night till 4.30 in the morning trying to see if there was any way I could salvage these files. Not so successful. But anyways, on Wednesday morning, they said, let's call just to try to see if we can do one last thing. And they couldn't call me because my phone wouldn't answer. It had, it was literally, I couldn't touch anything. I couldn't log into it. It was just falling apart. So um, I ended up losing those files, and then I ended up trying to just revive the phone again and had to do a system restore and lost everything. I lost all my apps. I lost all the data in my apps. The only two things I was able to salvage were my contacts and my calendar. Thank God, because I that would have been a little devastating for me. But it was still devastating to lose everything that I had in my phone. I didn't even know what was on there. Um, I was able to pull and back up my photos in a different way, but I lost everything else. So kind of a bummer. And the way that this affected me was profound. Um, some of the people that I had talked to, I was not getting any good sleep. I felt kind of in this like, woe is me period where I just, I felt like, I needed to stop everything just that it was the phone like I needed to dangle it over my head it was just hanging and I couldn't get anything done I was so unproductive it was it was amazing how much it killed my productivity so what I wanted to share in terms of a tip this week is to really think about your backup system you never know when these things are gonna happen and so if you are you know if you are coveting every single ounce of that data um, make sure that your backup system is intact. However, if you don't have your backup system intact, I wanted to take a look at the positive spin on, on not having the backup system because this was a, a big learning experience for me and I didn't want this to ruin my life. I think people that know me from a couple years ago, this would have been devastating and I would have probably been crying and being a dra dramatic queen about how I lost all of my data. Um, but I didn't get to that point now. And so there are a couple things that I realized after losing everything um, 
that turned out to be some special perks. So first things first, one tip that I want to share is never be mean to tech support. I spent about eight hours chatting on the phone with them and I could have gotten mad. I could have blamed them, but um, I, I was a good sport about it. It actually made um, the whole situation a little bit more manageable. And at the very end, the, the one guy who I had spoken to who helped me wipe off the last bit of everything I had on my phone. Um, he was like, you have spent a lot of time talking with us. I'm going to give you a $50 credit to buy whatever you want at the Apple store. Just it's on me. I, you know, I know that this has been really, really hard and maybe $50 might not seem like a lot to some people, especially when an iPhone costs like what, $700. But it was just a testament of, you know, really trying to think positive about the situation and not being in blame mode. So I got a free $50 for my time. Maybe it's not worth that, but, you know, at least I was able to get something. So now I get to get a little case for my laptop um, so I can carry it around in my purse, my new computer. Um, the second thing that I learned was that you can create new rules. Um, I have not put on... Uh, aside from Instagram, I haven't added back any social media on my phone and I've just been going to my computer and checking on Facebook every once in a while and my phone has been pretty silent. It's almost kind of weird because all of the things that I felt like I needed to do to reorganize my phone and clean up, I can't do it anymore because I lost everything. Um, so now I can kind of create new rules on what goes on my phone from now on and, and how I operate. And I've slowly been feeling a little bit more productivity because some of the things that would distract me on my phone are not there. So that's a good thing too, right? Um, sometimes starting with a clean slate is good. I've had on my list of things to do um, to organize my phone, to kind of clean up some of my contacts, some of the things in my calendar, some of the notes that I have probably collected over the last eight years that I've had all of my apps building up, and I can't do all that. So um, sometimes starting with a clean slate is good, even if you lose some stuff, it's it's a chance to start anew and, as I said before, create new roles. And the last thing that I learned is that there's really no point in stressing out about it. Yeah, it, it kind of set me back. I had some deadlines that I was supposed to meet last week, and that kind of threw me in a tizzy. But the stressing wasn't going to make anything any better. <laughs> so... Um, it's just not, it's just not worth it. You know, it, data is data and there's bigger things out there that you could lose that are more important. So those were my positive spins on not having a backup system. And I hope this is helpful. I think that, you know, bottom line is you want to ask yourself, you know, what's really, really important to you before you create some sort of backup plan or a backup system. And after it may have failed or may have succeeded, there's always pros and cons to the situation. And you want to, you know, look at it from an objective point of view and say, you know, what could have been worse? Um, you know, yeah, I could have spent some time or spent a day trying to migrate all my files and have and not have to deal with the aftermath of losing some really important data but life goes on and you know it's it's going to be fine you know i'm still alive i still have my husband and kids we still my house is still here and, and there's so many other things to appreciate so I hope that was helpful. You know, just if you are in that place where you think you need to back up something or you've got something that's really, really important to you, really just assess what, what is out there that, you know, you don't want to lose and that would be devastating if you did lose and go and take some time and make some priority time to back those things up. And um, for everything else, you know, just, just live life and, it's all going to be okay. I'm still alive and ready to hit the ground running this week after a nice long weekend. So I hope this was helpful. I will check in with you again next week and have a fantastic day off and talk to you next week. Bye.